Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. We are joined by none other than Hall of Fame fighter and promoter Oscar De La Hoya, who is getting ready to kick off the year with a bang with yeah. uh, Ryan Garcia and Luke Campbell, January 2nd in Dallas on the zone. And Oscar, this is going to be Ryan Garcia's first big test that we've seen in his career. And it's gonna come against the former Olympian gold medalist, someone who just got out of the, a fight with Vasily Lomachenko. Yeah. This is a big caliber of fighter for Ryan. Why do you believe Ryan is ready for this test right now? I, I strongly feel Ryan has been ready um, for this fight, you know, for for months now. I mean, he's 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 ready to step it up. He's ready to to take his career to a new level. And look, as a promoter um, and as an ex fighter, um, I know exactly exactly what fights uh, Ryan you know, needs in order to to that level to uh, get that experience. And yes, this is a dangerous fight. This is a bold move. Um, in our part and, and and for Ryan taking this fight, but these are the types of fights that 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 make you great and uh, and and this is the beginning for Ryan Garcia. I think that if he beats an Olympic gold medalist, um, a guy who went in there with Lomachenko and Linares, um, I think I think that Sky literally will be the limit for Ryan. Um, you know, he's just sold out uh, the arena in Dallas. Yes, there's a 25% capacity, but you know, he sold it out. And so January 2nd will be kind of like his coming out party. Right. And uh, I, I felt like he kind of had that earlier this year on Valentine's Day when he knocked out Fonseca in the first round, back-to-back -back first round knockouts. He's really gaining a lot of momentum. His social media keeps blowing up even more as if it was possible at that point. But why do you consider... Uh, Ryan's ceiling so high. Is he the best prospect you've ever promoted? You know, um, when I when I first contacted Ryan uh, early on in his career, I think he had like two, three fights. I I actually contacted him uh, through social media. I, I I slipped in a DM on on his on his, <laughs> uh, on his account, and um, and I told him, look, um, I want to meet you, and I, I I feel that you have you know the potential, and you know, and so. I I knew firsthand, and this is this is instinct from a fighter. I just knew firsthand that he had he had something special, and uh, and obviously I wasn't wrong. Um, I I feel that with his social media presence, yes, it's one thing, but what people sometimes don't tend to see is that his abilities inside the ring are almost flawless. Um, yes. He's not the, the 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 perfect mold of a fighter. He he's not your typical you know uh, of uh, Salvador Sanchez or or Oscar De La Hoya, but I I believe he's even more special than I I believe that we haven't seen the best of Ryan Garcia and uh, and I believe this fight will will bring it out in him. Mm -hmm. So I guess to to go back on my question, is he the best prospect you've ever promoted? No, I to answer your question, uh, yes, he is. Yes, he is, and we've look. We've promoted a lot of young prospects, um, and we we do have a lot of young prospects currently. Um, you know, Ryan Garcia has that has that overall package. Oh, you know, and and if handled correctly uh, by the people around him, I I believe that uh, that Ryan will go very very far. Yeah, he definitely has a big team around him. A lot of uh, uh, at the age of twenty two, he he's kind of created. The, the business structure to really put, propel himself moving forward. He gets a lot of uh, opportunities, as we've seen in 2020, uh, out of the ring. Right. You know, his, his marketability continues to grow. Uh, personally for you, Oscar, now that Canelo is out of the picture, do you consider Ryan the face of Golden Boy at this moment? Well, I, I, I literally, literally after this fight, I will consider Ryan the face of boxing, uh, not just the face of Golden Boy. Um, you know, we have many young prospects like Virgil Ortiz and Jojo Diaz, um, Jaime Munguia, who's a, who's a world champion as well. So our list of prospects and champions obviously keeps growing, keeps changing. 
um, you know, not having Canelo uh, Alvarez uh, on our roster, um, you know, is, 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 is something that we can live with and, and, and move on. But, uh, but Ryan has the opportunity to be the biggest star in boxing, uh, um, um, you know, uh, that can surpass uh, whatever Canelo has accomplished. So I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to this, to this fun ride along with him. Now, you talk about fighters having a lot of voices in their ears and such. Of course, Ryan trains with uh, Eddie Reynoso and Canelo. Have you, are you worried at all that this new relationship dynamic and I guess love triangle might be difficult to navigate moving forward considering uh, where Canelo is in his career? Well, I mean, it, it is, it, I do worry, uh, obviously. I do worry, I, absolutely. Um, you know, um, I, I still, to this day, don't know what, what exactly, um, you know, I did wrong um, in the career. Um, you know, we, we build him to be the biggest star in boxing, uh, and, and there's nothing wrong with that. But, you know, I think, I think Ryan, Ryan, he knows what he wants, and... Uh, and we're on the same page, and uh, um, you know that. That's why I feel that. That's why I feel that. Um, that you know, it, it it can be this fight here with with uh, with Campbell can be a breakthrough fight for him. You know, because like you mentioned, when I was 23, I fought Chavez and all these big names. Well, Ryan has the opportunity to to fight the Haney's, the you know the you know, female Stevens, all those guys this year and next year. So, um, you know, it's, it's, it's a matter of, uh, it's a matter of, you know, keeping a, a close relationship with Ryan, you know, uh, giving him advice, you know, because the same, the same thing that he's going through now, I went through as well. You know, I had all those whispers in my ear as well. So I, I know exactly what they're telling him. I know exactly what he's going through. And, you know, it's, it's, it's just a matter of having a nice, close relationship with Ryan. Mm -hmm. And speaking of Canelo, 2020 has been a hard year for all of us in, in many different ways. For you, it was difficult even more because of the lawsuit you had to deal with. Right. How hard have the last few months been for you just having to go through that and rebuilding and moving on and now revitalizing the company again? Yeah, I mean, look, we've, we've been through it um, a couple of times in the past. Um, you know, um, when we lost all those uh, fighters uh, to Al Heyman, uh, when he took the fighters uh, to uh, PBC, uh, the fighters that we built, like uh, Deontay Wilder and Adrian Broner and, uh, uh, and all these guys, um, so I've been in this position and it doesn't worry me whatsoever. Uh, obviously with the, you know, this pandemic, uh, was, was devastating to everyone across the globe. Uh, so it was different circumstances than, than what it was before, uh, uh, in the Al Heyman situation. But I just, I just feel like I'm on the same boat with everybody. I, I, we have to weather the storm. We have to. We have to come back stronger. We have to come back smarter. We have to make these big fights, you know. And 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 if I was if I was Crawford's promoter, if I was, uh, um, um, if I was, uh, you know, the promoter of all these forty-seven pounders, I would make these fights happen. Just make them happen. We can figure out the economics. There's money to be spread to everyone i mean let's just make these fights happen it can happen bob arum did a great job uh working with al Heyman, uh with uh with with um you know the uh, the gypsy king and uh and deontay wilder that fight was was a wonderful event so it can happen let's just make these fights happen so i'm 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 hoping that uh i mean my new year's resolution is for all promoters to work together and uh and and grow the sport